Hi everyone, as you may know, there are so many commands available for you to manage Microsoft Teams. This video will go over a few commands that I feel they are handy in situations where you need to get information fast or you don't want to use Teams Admin Center and you want to use PowerShell instead. I personally use these commands a lot and I wanted to share with you. My first command is get-team. I can get the list of teams in my tenant with this. It also gives me the group ID of teams. With group ID, you can do many things. For example, you can add, remove a user or a channel. As you can see here, I have only two teams in my tenant, techtrip.org and management. And here, here are the group ID of each. Now let's say you wanna see the users or members of this team management. So, and we have a command for that. So it's going to be I'm going to copy this group ID here. As you can see here, we have two users and you can also see the roles. We have one owner and we have one member. Now, let's say you want to remove John Doe from the management teams and we have the user ID here. So the command is going to be remove team user. So if I type I didn't use the, the user ID here in this example. So let's see if it works. So now I'm going to go back and say, get team user. And yeah, so I was able to remove John Doe. I didn't use the user ID. I just, the, I used the user, which is the email address. And I was able to remove him from, from the management teams. Now let's say you want to add someone back to management teams. This time, instead of remove dash team users, we're going to use add dash team user we have to use group id again so one mistake that i made here instead of adding the team group id i added the user group id so i have to just go back here and add the correct group id so it works now if i type get team user and i type the group id I can see John Doe is back and I was able to add it with PowerShell. So now let's say you want to see the list of channels for a specific teams. As we know, we have two types of channels. We have private and public. So let's say you want to see the list of channels for the management teams. And first I'm going to grab the group ID because I know, I know I'm going to need this. And I'm going to type get team channel and then the group ID. I'm gonna paste the group ID of the management teams. I can see I have three channels here. I have general, project X and project Apple. So these are the list of channels for, for management teams. If you're looking for a specific type of channels, so if you're looking for, a, let's say a private channel, you do the same command. So it's going to be get team channel same group ID. Now, if I say membership type, I have three membership types here. I have private, shared, and standard. So if I type private, I don't get anything because obviously I don't have a private, but if I go here and say standard, I will get the same result. If you want to get the list of available apps for your user in Microsoft Teams, you can use get-teams app. You can get the ID, display name, and this distribution method. And finally, let's say you want to create a new channel for a specific teams. We can use new dash team channel, but before we do that, we need to get the group ID of that team. So first I'm going to run get team. And let's say you want to create a new channel for this team, for the management team. The syntax is new dash team channel. I need the group ID and here's the group ID. I want to say display name. 
I'm gonna call this new channel. The membership type, I can set this one as private and then I need to have an owner. It will be ocean at techtrip.org. And let's create the channel. So the channel is created and here's the ID, display name and the membership type is private. Now if I run get team channel and group ID, I can see my new channel here. If you're done using PowerShell, make sure you close the session and here's the command. There are other PowerShell commands for Microsoft Teams that I didn't go over in my video. If you know any good commands similar to what I just showed, please leave them in a comment area for others. Thank you. See you all next time.